everyone and welcome again to this SQL course. Until now we've seen numeric data types in the form of integers and also in the form of floats. So here in this lecture what we are going to approach are text variables or text columns. Text columns are used to store other characters that are not numbers and you can even store numbers in them although if you pass those numbers enclosed in quotes you are treating those numbers as text and they will be interpreted by SQL as text. I'm going to describe again the sequila.film to exemplify and don't forget to connect to your local database so that you are able to describe the sequila.film table. I'm going here and run this query. Now notice we have here something interesting which is the varchar data type. The varchar is able to store characters or text, free text, in this column. For example, here we have the title. The title, of course, can be a written text with characters and something other than numbers. So that's why you need the varchar to store these types of information or these types of data. So if you have something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, you'll have to store them, of course, in these data types because you can store letters in numeric or float columns, and that makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to compute mathematical functions on those columns. So here, the number that we have after the varchar is more straightforward because it actually refers to the number of characters that this column or each row of this column can have. So here, a movie title must have at most 128 characters. After that, that text will be truncated, meaning that the rest after those number of characters will not show up in the column. So pay really attention to that. A higher number here will mean that you will allow more characters to be in your column, to be fit in your column. Let's continue and see here what's the title on the sequila.film. This query, of course, should be pretty familiar, just to select from statement. As we can see, we have here several movie titles. The concat function, if I go here and try to do a concat function, that we've already used to concat the full name, remember, from the actors. If I use concat oops, title title, what we'll do is create a new column that will concatenate the title with the title. This doesn't make much sense, but as you can see, we concatenate each string. Uh, also, these are commonly called strings. If you hear this name, it's when we, uh, strings are, is when we are speaking of text, of uh, data that is interpreted as text. So we are concatenating these two pieces of strings or these two pieces of text one with each other. So you have these functions that are more relevant for strings, but can you do this with, uh, for example, the rental rate numbers? Let's see what will happen. Remember when we try to apply certain mathematical operations to text, we would get a null. Is that the case here? It's not. What we have is an implicit conversion. What happens is that SQL is able to implicitly convert this rental rate into a string. It converts it to a string, turning the 0 0.99 into pure text and not numbers. Okay, so we've done here a conversion, and what we have when we concatenate two numbers, it doesn't sum them, uh, although that's what you might think that it happens. It concatenates 0 0.99 with 0 0.99 and treats it at, as if it was text. Remember, you can have numbers as text. When you have a column that only has numbers, it makes more sense to store it as float or integers, also because of the space that that column will take. There's also another type of column that takes up the maximum space, which I think is 65,000 characters, which is the text type. Let's see if there is any text type here in the secular.film, there is the description. As descriptions are more volatile, you can have movies that have really, really long descriptions. The idea was to have this column as text, which would be a column that would take at maximum 65,000 characters here. So that's why we have this data type that's text, which by default makes it as if it was a varchar 65,000. And to be more precise, it's 65,535. The main difference between both of these, there are smaller differences that you don't need to know now. You need to know the difference between a maximum Varshar, for example, a Varshar 65,535. You can use that as an index, while the text data type you can't use as an index. That's a relevant difference. So just know that when you have like probably more volatile text, but you're not sure what's the data type or the fixed data type that you want to use, just use text when you know for certain that most probably you will not have more than X amount of characters. Just use Varchar, it's easy if you understand it in this way. 
Okay, so there are also here more two data types related to uh, text, which is the enum and the set. Okay, so let's see the sequila.film just for you to check what these data types really mean. They are actually really handy. And let's see. So the set basically allows you to choose multiple values from a fixed list. For example, the special features, as you will see, is a set data type. That means that here we have a fixed uh, a range of values that we can use. For example, trailers, deleted scenes, behind the scenes, because these are characteristics of most movies. So you don't want to have free text in this column. That's why you use the set. And enum, basically it's the same, but you can only use one value. That's for the rating, because you can have multiple ratings by default for a movie. A movie, either it's PG or it's G or it's rated R. So it only has one rating. Okay, so that's why I use the enum. The difference between both, enum takes only one value, set takes multiple values. Both are used when you want to control the input of the data that will be stored here. You don't want to allow free text, although it's a text variable because, uh, of course, PG are two letters. This should be treated as text, not as a number. The same for the special features. Let's just confirm here on the sequila.film that will have the rating as enum, as I've said, so only one value allowed. Special features, it's a set of several examples that we have here, a list of values that we can choose. Think of it as follows, like enum is probably more uh, resembling a combo box that we would see in websites where you can choose one value, and set is more like a checkbox where you can check multiple values of a checkbox. This is probably an analogy that, that will help you to memorize what these two types are. Okay, so we've seen four data types here, varchar, where you give a fixed length for the text column, text that takes by default the maximum amount of characters that the text can have here in SQL, which is 65,535, and then we have enum and set. You control the data that will be given here to your table. In enum, you allow one single value from an array of values. In set, you can choose multiple values from an array of values. Okay, so this was the data type text. Again, don't worry about this. First introduction to data types. We'll, of course, have more opportunity to work around these data types and create our own tables and make choices on which data type should we choose. Because that's exactly the choice that you have to do when you are creating a table or modeling some real world data. So let's continue and see another data type, which is the time or date time uh, data type. That data type will enable us to store hours, minutes, days, so it's more related to time features of SQL, and it will be really important for us to store those values for most operations. Let's continue, and I'll see you in the next lecture.